Germany likes to be special and handles things a little bit differently when it comes to dying and funerals. Hallo und willkommen. Ich bin Meister Lehnsherr und ihr seht Get Germanized dying in Germany. Funeral homes are much rarer than in other countries and for a long time cremation and embalming was handled by the state. Also in case of cremation people can't just do whatever they want with the ashes but have to follow strict rules. Funerals in Germany can also be very expensive up to 7000 euros or more and it gets even more expensive if you're from another country and want the remains shipped home. Air shipping a casket to the USA costs around 4000 to 5000 euros and on top of that you will of course have to pay for the embalming. Unless you to choose cremation of course. That's why many people in Germany try to minimize funeral costs by choosing cremation over embalming. Many obviously don't have to pay for a casket or the embalming process. You can also bury up to four urns in the space needed for a casket. While this might sound too rational and cold when talking about death, in Germany some people say they can't afford to die and so it makes sense to look for ways to lessen the costs. If you plan on shipping the urn from Germany to your home country you have to keep in mind that you can't just put the urn into your purse and get on a plane. Special paper have to be applied for and arrangements have to be made by the funeral home or crematorium. Germany has a growing number of funeral homes but most crematoriums are state operated and placed all over the country. As mentioned before Germany has strict rules as to what people are allowed to do with the ashes of their loved ones. Opposed to other countries you can't just go anywhere and strew them in the wind. Every German state has slightly different laws when it comes to funerals but there's one thing they all got in common. Der Friedhofszwang. The cemetery dictate. The only exception is die Seebisch the funeral at sea and die Baumbestattung, the tree funeral. At the Seebestattung the urn is dropped into the ocean at least three miles away from shore. During die Baumbestattung a biodegradable urn is buried under a tree in a part of the forest marked as an official burial ground. Strewing the ashes or taking them anywhere with you is not allowed in Germany. You of course can get the deceased cremated in the Netherlands where the laws are much more relaxed. Just keep in mind that if you take the ashes back to Germany and let's say put them on your oven, well they might take them away from you and do a Zwangsbestattung, a forced burial. This will of course only happen if the state finds out about it. These rules date back to the time when the different churches had strong reservations about cremation. And I admit they are kinda outdated. In Germany most cemeteries are state or church operated but exceptions are made for certain religious groups. And they are then allowed to have their own private cemeteries. In case you can't tend to your family member's grave yourself, there's another option in Germany. Because of the increasing mobility nowadays more and more people either hire florists or pay the cemetery to take over those duties for them. The plots are usually rented for a certain period of time, mostly about 20 to 30 years but it's also possible to get an extension. After the mourners themselves have passed away the plots are usually used for new burials. In case you don't want to deal with these sorts of things there's also another possibility arising these days in Germany. It's not really all that common but does exist. You can choose to have an anonymous burial on a field that just has one big monument which declares the field's purpose. These kinds of burials are a bit more expensive but cover the cost of the care for the plot. If you live in Germany and think about getting insurance to cover your funeral costs you might be out of luck. Back in the days many policies covered funeral costs but are now being gradually phased out. But just to be safe make sure to check for them anyways. So what do you do in Germany when someone actually dies? If the death occurred at home you need to call a doctor to get the death certificate. This could be the Notarzt, the emergency doctor or if you have one your Hausarzt the house doctor. And if the person died in a hospital you don't need to worry about these things for obvious reasons. Everyone, also expats and tourists, need to get a German death certificate in order to issue one abroad. You can contact your embassy or consulate here in Germany and of course they will then contact people in your home country. This way you get a certificate of death in your own language and avoid having problems with for example insurance claims later on. As always don't see this video as the only answer to all things related to dying in Germany. If you have any questions or feedback at all please make sure to let me know in the comment section below. Help each other out when you see a question that you know the answer or two and tell me about your experience with death in Germany. What's the process like in your country and did you have to arrange something yourself before? If you found this video helpful I would appreciate a thumbs up and maybe share it with a friend to spread the knowledge. Also check out some useful links related to the topic in the video description, check out my social media pages down here and watch a video on the side. Apart from that thank you very much for watching, don't forget to get Germanized, goodbye and auf Wiedersehen.